Hi, I'm Sikin Lee, and this is a message for those of you sequestered and quarantined in spaces where it is unsafe to be your authentic self. I know how difficult that is, and I am sending you so much love and support. What's most important, more important than everybody else knowing who you are, is that you know who you are, and that you love and accept and support your security, your safety, your mental and physical well-being. It reminds me of when I was a kid in grade three. I was nine years old and I had a huge crush on Denise. I knew that I couldn't tell the kids at school because they would likely bully me. So I went into the girls' washroom and locked myself in a cubicle and anonymously wrote graffiti that I loved Denise. And it made me so happy knowing that girls after me would sit on the toilet, read the graffiti, and know that there was a girl with a crush on a girl in their midst. I'm not telling you to write graffiti on the wall saying who you are, but what I am trying to convey is that not of self-love and self-acceptance is super duper key to get you through hard times. In the earliest memories of my childhood, I, I, I was oftentimes mocked for who I was because I'm Chinese. And despite all of the criticism and bullying, I remember walking up the stairs in my house, standing on the landing and seeing my reflection in a mirror on the wall and looking at myself and thinking, hey, I like you. And that feeling of self-acceptance has buoyed me through very tough times as an adult. And I think that feeling can also help you get through this difficult time, knowing who you are, accepting who you are, loving who you are, because you are incredible. And when this all passes and the doors are open, we are free to be outside. You will carry that with you and draw those who love you closer. And meanwhile, for now, while you are sequestered and alone, in a difficult place, know that you are loved. <laughs>